Hey guys, it is New Year's Eve, so we're gonna do a project that might help you celebrate tonight. Um, we had a very popular project over the winter, last winter, and we did um, photo booth props for superheroes, if any of you were able to see that. So I thought it'd be fun for you to have at home a project where you could create some photo booth props for New Year's. So I've got a couple ideas for you. I've got some suggestions on materials, all things you should be able to find around the house, and then you can take it and make it your own. So the things that I'm starting off with first, I've got some white pieces of paper to draw out my ideas. So I also have my pencil. I've got some markers with me. I've got some scissors. I have tape and glue, depending on what's gonna work better for you. Some optional um, supplies. I have some popsicle sticks, or you could also find some cardboard from um, some of your recycling maybe. So I've got like an old weapons pasta box. You can use those. I've got some paper plates. And then I gathered some stuff up from around the house. So I've got some tin foil. Um, I've got some tissue paper. I also have some scraps of um, wrapping paper and some gift bags that I kind of pulled apart. So there's a lot of different ways that you can incorporate different items around your home to make these photo booth props pop. So a couple of the ideas that I came up with I'm going to show you. So what I did is I took my white pieces of paper and I drew out with pencil and then outlined in black my different ideas. So I've got some lips and a mustache. This could be a noisemaker. Some of the items I've already cut out. So I've done a party hat. So you could take this and color it if you wanted to or add any of the materials. Similar to what I've done with this one. I took some of the tin foil and I ripped it and I put it in a little ball and then I smashed the ball to make it flat and then I added it to the top. And then I might take some um, scrap pieces that I have and maybe glue them oh, I don't know, around the edge or I can glue them at any spot just to kind of complete that look and make it shiny. So there's two of these party hat ideas. I also have a top hat that I drew out that says cheers on it. You can color this however you want. Um, there's like a ribbon across the, the rim here and then I wrote out cheers. You can write any words if you want or no words at all. It'd be your top hat. And then I have a, fun, a bunch of um, fun little signs. This one I wrote out with the old because we definitely want to say goodbye to 2020. That's an arrow. You could color that in or add any of your materials. And here's another simple one, just saying Happy New Year. I just used a marker and I did some lines on that to add some color. Here's an idea for you with the popsicle stick or you can use your cardboard from a box. I just glued it to the back. And what I did is I drew out Hello 2021 and then I have a larger piece of paper behind that I glued some of my tin foil to. And then I cut out a similar shape to my other sign and I glued those together. So that's really cute, kind of goes with my shirt. See how it shines. And then here's another idea that I was gonna show you as I did it. So this is similar to what I did with the tin foil. So what I did is I cut out my little speech bubble. It says 2020, yay. And then I found some scrap wrapping paper that we had from over the holidays. And I glued it to a rectangle piece. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and put it on another blank piece of paper and I'm gonna glue that to it. So right now I'm just gonna glue the middle just so it stays in place. And then I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm just gonna cut around almost the same shape as my speech bubble, just a little bit bigger. So then you have your little speech bubble, but it's got a fun little colorful pattern behind it. And you can always go back in and add a little bit of glue on the edges so that stays together. And like I said, you can add your cardboard. You can color your cardboard in to make it match a little better. Or if you have a popsicle stick, glue that, glue that to the back. And then the last little things I have are, I've got the mustache. Kind of funny. And then I've got some lips. 
You can just hold them with your hands if you want. Any of the things you can just hold, or you can use the popsicle sticks or the cardboard. And then I've got a bow tie. That's cute. I even like it in black and white, but I was going to give you an idea here. Let me see if I can find my... Yeah, so I found this fun little gift bag that had plaid on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my bow tie that I drew out and I'm going to trace it onto the back of this gift bag that I pulled apart. And then I'm going to cut that out and then I'll have a nice little pattern bow tie. And then what you can do is when all of your photo booth props are ready, lay them out on a table. Find a good background in your home and just have some fun with your family, trying out all, all the different props, mixing them up a little bit. Um, make some of your own funny scenes or things that matter to you that are coming up for the new year. There we go, there's the bow tie, that's kind of fun. And I think you guys could have a lot of fun with this project. So I hope you all have a great new year. I hope you're able to celebrate um, even if it is just at home, sometimes the small celebrations can be the most fun. And I hope we start off the new year um, in the right way with lots of hopes and dreams of what are to come. All right, guys. See you later.